we all know the situation to which Nnamdi Kano is and uh, really he has been deprived of a lot of things and right now you'll be so shocked as to what he's been deprived of and uh, you know I wonder why the uh, southeastern governors and leaders are not really taking this seriously imagine that uh, uh, Banji Akintoye left all the way you know, from Nigeria to Bene Republic, just to ensure that Sunday Buhu is freed. And there are so many other Yoruba leaders who have left the Church of Nigeria to Bene Republic to, you know, make settlement for Igbo's freedom. And yet we have Unamdi Kano right here in the soil of Nigeria. And nothing has been done by the southeastern governors and even the southerners. And yet everyone just kept quiet. Is it that he has committed so much a crime? That his crime cannot be overlooked or his crimes cannot be forgiven just the way the government is granting amnesty to criminals and even terrorists who have killed thousands of people, spilled the blood of Nigerians and caused mayhem in the country. So really holding Namdi Kanu for such a long time is not necessary. His sin is not as serious as that of the Boko Haram terrorists that have been granted amnesty or those who have been uh, given granted mercy and yet even giving them rehabilitation. So why he's been uh, going through all of this is also deprived from uh, having access to this. Well, we'll find out more in those reports. I hope you stay tuned, but don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first to be updated anytime we drop a new video. And yes, don't forget this is Saffron Media and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. So stay tuned. Let's see what exactly has been happening to Namdi Kanu right there in the DSS custody in Abuja. Yes, the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Mazi Namdi Kanu, is yet to see his family since his arrest in June. Recall that pro Biafra agitator has been in DSS detention June through he briefly appeared in court before Justice Binta Iyako of the Federal High Court in June 29. Operatives of DSS refused to bring Kanu to court for his trial slated for July 26, citing logistics reason for forcing logistic reason forcing Justice Iyako to adjourn the case till October 21. In an update to newsmen after a routine visit to IPOB leader on Thursday, his counsel, Ifai Ejofo, stated that Unamdi Kanu urged his supporters and well-wishers to be unwavering and prayerful concerning his present predicament. He also expressed his profound gratitude to all of them that have stood by him since his travails began towards the end of June. His warm greetings and compliments go to millions of Umuchineke and followers worldwide. He is profoundly grateful for the massive show of support and solidarity and consequently urged all and sundry to remain resolute and prayerful, particularly in this trying moment. Victory is sacrosanct and it cannot be too long. Your prayers are paramount now. Other highlights bother on professional interaction which shall remain private thank you all and god bless you asked whether Kano's family members were in attendance during the visit a Geoffrey said not yet we are on it well it is really painful that uh, he has not been granted access to his family since june you know uh, i believe even if he is he has offended so much he should be granted access to see his family members yes I, I he has not really been judged for him to you know face such hard uh, uh, uh you know uh, predicament or to even face such hard judgment even when he has not been judged by the court so keeping his family away from him is not really that important right now i believe the government should do something for him to have access to his family 
because he has not yet been declared, you know, an offender. Yes, he's not yet guilty. Yes, so really, they should also be treated well at this point in time, even if they have cases against him. But Unam Dikano, as much as he's greeting these people, I believe there's a lot that the Southeastern uh, Easterners have to do. There's a lot they can do to help him out of the present situation to which he is right now. There are some things that when people make up their mind to do it will be really difficult for a government to be oppressive of such people and I, as much as the government is trying so hard against sunday Buhu, i can assure you because of the support of the people he has that is why the government have not had that much access to him to be extradited if he were not to be in that position where a lot of supporters and people are behind him, I can assure you that even Benin Republic will forget whatever case they have against him and even declare him wanted in Nigeria and release him to the Nigerian government. But because a lot of people have intervened in this matter, saying this government is just after him just to waste him because the way they uh, attacked his house on the 1st of July, that that is not the way to even come into the premises of someone at about 1 a.m. at night and not just that they came in shooting sporadically not minding if people were inside if they were going to kill people or not so really there's a lot that a lot of support that Sunday will have experienced that is why he's right there you know uh the the, the government of the state of that Benin republic have not released him to nigeria if there were no support i can guarantee you that they would have extradited him but a lot of things have happened that these guys have to sit down to have a second thought. Forget whatever case they said they have against him. If the government, if they know that the government, the, the, the country's government will be able to handle the issue, they will hand him over to the government. But when they now understand that it seems this guy uh, uh, has a lot of supporters and people who are supporting him, that indeed he is not wrong. Maybe the government is just against him. And here we are. He still writes there in Benin Republic. He has access to whatever he wants, you know. But in the case of Unam Dikano, a lot of people are against him. A lot of people are for him. You know, the house is divided. That is the same reason Unam Dikano has been in DSS custody and not even given access to a lawyer the first time he was arrest arrested. And secondly, they did not want him to appear in court. And even when he appeared in court, they made it very secretive, secretly and also in private. They don't want access to journalists and all of that. So you can know that there's a lot of things that are hidden under the cupboard that they don't want people to know about or see. So that shows that he is in no way an, a serious offender that they should lock him up in that manner. But all the same, I believe with support and love from his people, he will sail through. Like he said, all he needs right now is the prayer of his people because this is a very trying time for him. And indeed, it is. So, my dear people, that is it. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Whatever you have to say about this, please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.